Everyone, this is Ross. Today's video, we're gonna to touch on a subject that uh, I get a lot of questions about. Essentially, we're in my storage area here. Underneath the sunroom, we are storing my fig trees away for the winter time. And the question always comes up is, when do I water, do I water my fig trees that are dormant in storage? And it depends on your storage condition. In here, it's very humid and because it's humid this soil doesn't really dry out all that quickly in a drier environment you know probably like sub 50 percent humidity um, this is definitely going to dry out a lot quicker this soil here is going to dry out a lot quicker some things that i like to do so that i don't have to water these things or worry about them for a long time in fact i usually don't water these trees until the spring when i take them out of here um, and that's like a whole five, six months of them being in here. Um, I, I water them all in really well before I even put them in here. So the soil is soaked, um, it's moist, you know, all that water is coming out the bottom of the pot. And then I add in layers of mulch and this mulch keeps the soil um, moist and keeps that water, too much of it from evaporating or as quickly as it, as it would. Um, certainly with these younger trees here, these ones in like one gallon size pots or even five gallon size pots, they're gonna dry out quicker than something larger like a 15 gallon, especially these smaller one gallons. This is really what I have to worry about and I'll come in here probably sometime in March, um, like early March and I'll look at these and I'll water them and I'll give them a very minimal amount of water but you really wanna observe the soil moisture and really feel around in here and say, well, does it really need that water? If it's dry, certainly, but I'd rather have things on the drier side than the wet side. Um, if you have too much soil moisture in here all winter and you keep watering them, you can kill every tree you have. And that's happened to friends of mine um, that have been doing this at the time, even longer than I have been doing it. Um, so that's a big recommendation. So keep things on the drier side if you can. But you know these smaller ones, they do dry out quicker. They need you need to be on top of these. Even things in like grow bags because the sides they'll dry out quicker on the sides. Um, so yeah, just something that I think you guys ought to be aware of and pay attention to. And the, the questions I I normally get in terms of the amount of water, that's a bit tricky, right? Um, you know, everyone wants to know the amount of water and that's really up to you guys and your particular soil situation and your pot and what your environment's like. And, um, you know, I guess a great rule of thumb though, you know, cause I can't really give everybody the same answer, but a good, a good rule of thumb is probably like four ounces of water um, per watering for five gallons of soil. Um, or even even four ounces of water in a small one gallon size pot like that. You know, we don't wanna be really drenching the soil too much, as I said, because too much water is not good. You know, this isn't like it's outside, we have it in the right environment, the right temperature for the metabolisms of these trees to work. Right now they're, they're sleeping. You know, they're not really doing much. So I think it's really important to just simply not overwater them. You know, less is gonna be more. Get yourself a soil meter, a moisture meter, stick your fingers in there and go down as far as you can. Cause sometimes the top layer is wet, but the bottom isn't. And really, really you're just then trying to maintain the top layer. Um, so really enough to then water only the top layer, you know? Um, not water to drench the entire pot. So uh, that's just kind of all I wanna touch on here, guys, in today's video. I hope you guys got something out of this. We're gonna be bringing them out of here. I guess the last point I wanna make is that we will bring them out of here about halfway through April. So we have about another three months of them in storage and then they're coming out of here and um, we'll be back to growing our figs <laughs> for another season. So yeah, thanks for watching this one guys. Check us out on FigBid. We have very few cuttings left for sale we have a 30% off promo code that I'm offering you guys. Um, just message me the promotional code Ross before you guys pay 
you can put them in like your cart, it'll create an invoice, and then I can adjust the invoice, message me, and you guys will get the discount. We're almost out of pretty much everything. Um, so don't miss that if you guys were interested. And then also check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys later. Um, take care, everybody.